Hey, what's going on guys? Wired Gaming, back again with some more Survive the Nights. And today, it's the big one. Horde Night 20. Oh, I am buzzing. This is going to be insane. Now, I told you guys that this is going to be the hardest horde that we've faced. And the reason is simple. We're facing this horde from inside one of the bunkers. Now, if you've seen the bunkers before, you will know that they are, um, they're good for storage. That is it. They're not good for anything else. Now, there's one on Bitterhold, which we're going to go check out now. And, I'm, I don't know. I don't think it'll work. I'm going to be honest. I think we're going to die miserably, but it's going to be fun. And, ah, uh, you know. Last week's episode at Mount Barron was, there was two failed hordes there. The failed horde at the prison, and Mount Barron was just barren. It's, it's got that name for a reason, I suppose. And it, it just went wrong. Nobody showed up. Now, I'm hoping with this one, this is going to be very different, and we're going to have a lot of zombies show up. It, we're taking it back to the very beginning, the start of this series. The church. We were just over there. When we started the Horde Night series. And we're finished. Well, we're not finishing it. We're we're finishing the continual version of it. Um, if you've watched the last episode, then you'll know that we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to have one episode of just normal play. We're going to try a little bit of PvP going forward. And all sorts of other little bits. And then on the other night, other day of the week, we're going to face a Horde in, in a stupid location, really. Now, this is the bunker on Bitterhold. It is located just here. And uh, if you haven't been inside, these things are insane. They're massive. They're not massive. It's this room, this corridor, and this room. So if a propane tank goes off, I'm dead. If they make it through the corridors, I'm dead. If I haven't got enough room to put barbed wire, I'm dead. This is going to be the hardest horde that we've done so far. But it's also going to be the most fun. My plan is simple. I'm planning on spike trapping pretty much every little bit of this. Um, I don't know whether we're going to use any up top. I doubt they'll drop down or just fall. And just hope for the best, really. Spike trap everything. Propane tank everything. Wing it. Win. See what happens. I'm very scared. I'm nervous. It's now morning. We can even power this little place. I, I, you know what, I think we might. We might just power it up. Is there a... Yeah, we got a light bulb in there, which we can uh, transfer into here. Yeah, cool. And we've got one in here, which... I suppose one's more than enough. We'll be able to get another one, though, so that's fine. So, it will light up. That's not a bad idea, actually. We can get a light bulb out here as well, so we don't need to use our, our own fixtures, which, saying that, we might actually just use anyway. Just to light it all up out here so we can see everything that's happening, where they're coming from, and uh, and what's going on. So I'm going to set all this up. I'm going to make it look beefy, beasty, and fun. And uh, then we're going to take on the horde. Let's do it. Right then. We are almost ready for Horde Night 20. As you can see, we've, uh, we've beefed it. To the max. As much as I can put in here, I have put in here. Um, I've got a couple of little bits left which we're about to put in now. Um, I'm hoping we can still jump in over the fence. Um, over the wall, sorry. But it does not look like this last panel is going to actually fit. We might have to tweak it a little bit. Actually, no, that will work. That'll be fine. Oh, no. Not that way. Definitely not that way. Let's just pick these up quick. 
Actually, no, that's cool. That'll be fun. Alright, if that one's there, we can move this across, I think. Plunk that in there, and then that final one should just slot in nicely. Just there. Although we need to be on the outside, because if we're inside we'll get stuck. Which is what we want, just not yet. I don't know if they're going to sort of sneak around that corner though, which is a bit of a concern. Would you bugger off? How's that looking? 400, that's good, that's good. Let's get this last barricade in. Come on, I know you'll fit in there nicely, I know you will. What if we bring it in just a tad there? Yes, that worked. Perfect. Do you know what? That'll actually be fine. Um, no, it won't, because now I need to place my... No, no, we're stuck. Penis. I need to place it from outside. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, now we can put the final spike trips at the front. We've got a little bit of barbed wire there as well. Same as on the other side. We've got barbed wire, like, everywhere. If it can go down, it has gone down. Uh, it's a bit of a ball lake, though, in this bush, because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Pretty much every side is covered with either a spike trap or a barbed wire. So if we place these last few down in here. Can't see what I'm doing, which is a bit of a ball lake, but it's fine. There we go, that's gone in. Sweet. We've also got the bar. Oh, no. We should have the power. Oh man, didn't think of that. Come on, go on, go on, fit through. Ah, oh. uh, we'll just place it there for a sec. Perfect. Let's get the Jenny up and running. Turn all the lights on in here. I'm quite excited to see what this is going to look like in it. It's going to be quite cool. It's simple, but effective. Is that light working? Yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Alright, we've got the outside light working too. And the interior ones are up and running. Bish, bash, bosh. Right, we're ready to go. Everything is lit up. Let's just place this propane tank in its rightful position. It is now night time. We need to place these final traps in here. And we're done. Oh, no. We need to take them in with us. They're coming inside because I've got a sort of last stand in inside the actual bunker here. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's the best I could do, really. It's the best of a bad situation, basically. Alright, what's the time? The Horde Knight should be arriving. I don't know why it says Horde Knight 19. That's annoying. Alright, we're going to place the barbed wire pile. Oh no, I can't place it because I've fallen down. Right, let me try that one more time like that. Is that going to work? Yes. Yeah, there we go. 
Good old spam escape. Right, or night 19. So what I will do is I am just going to have to wait this night out and get to Horde Night 20. Let's do that. It's got to say 20. If it ain't saying 20, I don't know why it says 19. I'm going to have to figure out what that problem is. Because um, I did get it to 20. So I'm going to figure that out and come back at 20. Let's do it. Right then, we are ready for Horde Night 20. As I was about to say, before I, uh, well, I fucked it up, we have got a final fallback location in here, which is just basically two sets of the reinforced spikes. And we're just going to be able to sit back here and pop off whoever decides to show up. So we've got three propane traps. Big, big, big problem here is how close they all are. They are all right next to each other. So that's going to that's gonna make things difficult. Very difficult. But it might be doable. I don't know. It's just hit night time, so the horde should be here any minute now. What I want to try before they do show up is just placing one of these in here that way. Oh, shit. Okay, so it works. That's a good sign, I suppose. Um, I also want to see if we can place the barbed wire down here. What do you mean there's a step? There's no step, man. What a shit. Hey. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, what if we escape that? Yes, it does work. Okay, that's good. That's a very good sign. So when things go horribly wrong out here, we'll just pull back into there and place the uh, the barbed wire traps down. All right, night times needs to hurry up a little bit more. I don't like this waiting game. Oh man, I love it in here. They're so cool. The storage is absolutely insane. I'd love to see bigger versions though, with different rooms, multiple sort of tunnels, entrances, exits, all that kind of thing. Maybe a military installation up the top there. Because, as I said in the dev vlog video that I covered, this top bit of the island does feel slightly barren. It would be nice if there was a few more bits up there. Alright, it's night time. Come on. Come on, hold night. You need to hurry up. Because I don't want to fail it because we're in such a tight location. If it does go wrong, what we might have to do in another video is try one of the... There is a bunker somewhere around here. It's going to be hard to find, but I know there's one there. I don't think there's actual any markings whatsoever for the bunkers. Um, let's just see. No, there's nothing. Oh well. Why are they taking so long? I don't like that it's taking so long. It's freaking me out a little bit. We're going to end up losing purely on a on a time front here. Here we go. This is more like it. Order approaching from the southwest. Flee or stand your ground. Where is southwest? They're approaching that side. That's good. That's very good. We should be fine. Oh yeah, they're coming fast. Uh, I'm going to light that now just so it's ready. I'm not going to risk that, because if I end up fucking falling, I'm dead. There's no way I'm getting back in. Right, come on, Horde. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. We're a quarter of the way through the night already, and the Horde hasn't even showed up yet. I think placing all these barricades might have been a bad idea, you know? Because it's slowing them down. It's going to help me, but it is slowing them down. They have an absolutely insane amount of ammunition, so I'm ready to go for that one. Right, here, here we go, here we go. This is it. The time to flee has gone. The time to prepare has passed. Oh. Come on, boys, where are you? Where are you? Right, they're 
They're not damaging the top guys. Ah, oh, they're coming down that side there. That's good. That's good. All these are full, so we've got 400 on each of these. It's definitely going to take them quite a while to get through these barricades. I don't know if that's going to help me or make things worse. Obviously, you need to kill the zombies to actually progress. Okay, one spike barricade out the front has gone already. I wonder if you can shoot through. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Though. We're not getting any XP. I can't actually tell if it's working or not. I think it's best just to let them destroy the barricades. But it should funnel them into a nice little area. Yeah, definitely. Oh no, we are getting kills with these, with the, with the barricades and the spikes. So that's good actually. The progress is going up slowly. They've just broke something else. Sounded like that side. Everything up top is still clear. Here we go. In they come. They're coming in from that back side as well. That mount barricade there is taking a massive beating. I think more than anything, they're focusing on the barricades, which is helpful for me. For quite a few of them, anyway. Um... That sort of thins the herd out a little bit. The ones that are focusing on the barricades are going to slowly start to die because of the damage the barricades inflict. So that's helpful. How are we looking? Pretty damn good, to be fair. As long as my barbed wire holds up, we're going to be okay. Get the lights ready to go. We can see everything that's going on. Well, we are going to try and clean the ARG quick if we can. I did get a secondary ARG on this one, just in case. If you watched last week's, um, well, the last episode that we did, it got a bit dicey purely for the ARG. Um, it started to get a bit battered and, and, yeah, repairing it every so often was not really an option. So we've got two just for when the emergencies kick in and we really need to use a secondary one. Alright, nice, nice. This is good. They're coming in fast as well, which I like. Although progress-wise, we're not doing too well. I need them to come a lot faster. Because one night twenty is not it's not happening. I think we might need to try out on a house. Because that you would see the full potential then. If you do it on a residential building in in somewhere like Union Point, you'd see it properly. I mean, I've got loads of different areas and and traps that I want to test out. We've got loads, loads of stuff we can keep doing, which is good. Let's clean the good boy. What's the time? Oh shit, how did he get... No, 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 you shouldn't be up here. Mate, if you could, like, stop cleaning your gun and shoot the dude, you fucking penis. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good. Good, good, good. good. Let's heal quick, because that took a nice chunk out. coming in as fierce as I thought they would. I don't know if it's because I've sort of buggered myself over with the location or not, but I don't I don't feel like they're that bad, to be fair. Or night 20. And it's not good, it's not easy, but it's not terrible. Right, we have to just fall back a little bit for a sec, just so I can 
Get some repairs going on here with this gun. And get it fully repaired, that'll be good. Oh, 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 he's coming in, he's coming in. What's he? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I forget. I don't think you can actually cancel it. You might be able to cancel it, but I'm not going to. We're near the end of it anyway, so it's fine. The hell is he doing? I don't actually think he knew there. Yeah, there's no way we're clearing this. This isn't happening. Jesus, man, this is not good. Whoa, shit. I'm not even halfway through yet. And they're starting to come a lot faster now, though. Let's at least hit the halfway mark before it fails. We've taken out quite a few traps as well down the bottom here. The barbed wire is starting to really decay down there, which is uh, it's not helpful. One and it. Fucking should have used a T5 from the start, mate. Oh, what a beast! It is just an absolutely insane shotgun. I love it. It's so much fun to use. Oh, where's the rest of yours? Come on, come on. Uh, we made it halfway, so yeah. Can't grumble too much, I suppose. I think if that first sort of section was okay. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We need to heal quick. I don't know what happened there. And the door just pushed me back onto the boss. God, the whole horde wasn't here. That would have been terrifying. I've run out of cleaning kits as well, which is uh, not ideal. Oh, shit. Come on, son. Come on, son. How far are we getting? How far? Come on, before it switches to night daytime. Quick, quick, quick. Let me check. Oh, just over halfway so far. Why am I... What was, what was injuring me then? I think there's a zombie under the stairs, you know? Die, I think. What? How is that jammed? Hasn't even been shot yet. Poor difficulty stayed the same. Try again the next night. So, well, this little series with the the random hordes is not about winning. It's about testing the location. And seeing if we can actually beat the horde in that area. It turns out you can't in the bunker. I think we would have, to be fair, if we were playing uh, a different server with longer nights. Definitely would have been able to do that. Wouldn't have been a problem at all. But yeah, you know, 
shit happens. But for today, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to let me know down below in the comments where you want to see a Horde Knight next. And we're going to head out there. I've got a few suggestions from you guys already. And uh, we're going to attempt them and, and see what happens. But for today, that is it from me. It's been a fail. But thanks for watching anyway. And we will see you very soon with some more Survive the Nights. Peace.